Peter, I'd like you to meet another patient like you, Carol Connors. Okay. Uh, here he is. Yeah. Hey, Jim. Yeah. As happens in our institute, this is I want you to meet Peter. I know. Peter and Jim. Uh, again, uh, impromptu at our institute as always. You two are here today, both of you care of one patients. I just did a worldwide webinar on the 4th of Feb, explaining concepts. Uh, Jim, your story. Pritham, your story. Less than a minute, please. I'm oh, doing this for Dr. Oh. Impromptu always. Sure. Well, um, one thing interesting about my care of is it got so bad in my left eye that I couldn't wear a contact lens anymore because my contact lens was rubbing the cone and I stand, I'm blind without my contact lenses. And so that was 20 years ago before I met Dr. Klein. And of course, they decided to do a cornea transplant, took my cornea off and put oh, a new wow. one on. And, uh, and the cornea guy says, oh, it looks great, great, great. I come in here and he goes, oh my God. <laughs> you know, and, and, and of course, what was amazing is that he was able to work on my eye and actually, because everywhere I went, they said, oh, your corneas are too thin. We can't work on them. They were scared to do anything. And Dr. Glani came in and he actually did surgery on my cornea and corrected it, fixed it up. So it's been amazing, you know. So oh, wow. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, I have had catacombs, I think, throughout my life. But, you know, I was searching for doctors and um, I went to, I went all over the U.S. Then I went to Canada. Yeah. And then I came back to Jacksonville to Dr. Gulani, who was able to fix my problems and get me to 2020 vision. Oh, that's amazing. And I mean, it's just, you know, the amount of money, the amount of specialists I've seen yeah. throughout my life. And Dr. Gulani is my, in my backyard. Yeah. I didn't even know it. But then I found him and it's like, oh my God, like, how do I not know about this guy? How do not more people know about this uh, yeah. guy? Yeah, what I loved about him is everywhere I said, everywhere that I said, no, 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 he said, no, we don't say no, we came up with a plan. And, <laughs> and they came up and worked with a plan, which is really awesome, you know. So. Well, also for our doctors, again, this is impromptu, and I love it, patients meeting each other and talking. Jim, your story actually for doctors is, please go through your medical. All of you are so intelligent by the time you come to me. Give your medical history, quick, to doctors. Right, well, so uh, I've got every eye disorder you can imagine. I've got. <laughs> ocular albinism, so there's no pigment in the back of my eye. I've got nystagmus, my eyes move back and forth. I've got myopia, extreme nearsightedness. Uh, I've got, um, uh, let's see, curve my keratoconus. eyes. Keratoconus, of course, <laughs> my keratoconus. Um, extreme astigmatism, astigmatism irregular uh, cornea, yes. You name it, I've got it, you know. Pubes, and, uh, everything, and, and oh, wow. nystagmus, strabismus. Yeah, so so the, the lesson to learn for doctors is, first of all, like he rightly said, in his first eye, doctors way before me, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. straight away went to transplant. Nowadays, two doctors are doing things that I don't approve, like you. You had cross-linking in all over US and Canada and everything, yes. and different surgeries without a GPS. Here, we took his eye with the transplant and fixed it with laser plastique because he had a transplant. And even though, like you said, his doctors were happy with how clear it looked, his vision was 2400 right. with 11 doctors stigmatism. That, to him, is blindness. So we fixed that and then we went to his other eye, which is virgin keratoconus. Right. Fixed that with lens of plastic and brought him that to vision without? Yeah. No glasses. Yeah. In fact, I've, not, I've worn glasses since I was two and contact lenses since I was 13 and I'm 60 years old now. Oh, wow. It's been amazing for the last six months, or four to six months, no glasses, no reading glasses or anything. I mean, my computer vision, which I'm a computer all day, is fantastic, you know, and I'm driving without any glasses. So it's been the first time in my life I wake up and I can see, which is pretty cool. So. Yeah, I have that same thing. First time in my life I'm waking up and I can see, <laughs> you see like, the clock, the alarm clock, you can see everything. My wife's playing with her phone the other day and I said, you know what, I can read your phone in bed every <laughs> So, <laughs> Peter, what's important here is we see so many patients of keratoconus that come here. They're so angry with their doctors. Their doctors are really excellent people, but they, the direction is missing. They believe the stopping the cone is treatment. That's not treatment. The patient's still blind. In his case, he had laser, he had ICL, correct? Yeah. Multiple cross linkings all over US and Canada. And then you came yeah. and we fixed it with laser plastic. How bad yeah. was the surgery, Prism? Yeah, a minute, a few minutes? Yeah, it was yeah. like, yeah. Was it painful? painful? Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Pain. like a spa over there, too. You know, so. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, he has that intraocular correction too. Mm -hmm. You have had from the surface laser technique. Any pain, both of you? Not at all. No, no, no. Another not thing, all. doctors, I keep teaching them surface laser. But the important thing, and it's amazing, unusual, that you two are here today. But usually we have a lot of post-ops in and out. But you two are unique to me because you, with the extreme issues you have, 
nystagmus, meaning his eyeball moves as I'm operating. Oh, Can you wow. imagine? I'm in his eye. Oh, my God. And on top of that, he's extremely nearsighted, extremely high irregular astigmatism, 11 diopters, keratoconus, pubes dystrophy, albinism, wow. all that stuff going on, yeah. and we've landed where we wanted to. Yeah. You are unique for a different reason. Multiple surgeries have given up, and you're perfect turning 22. So that's the lesson, and again, I love you guys meeting each other. Oh, that's great. <laughs> because I wish I can keep on sharing with my doctor colleagues that there is nothing more accountable than people on camera. Right? Mm -hmm. That to such intelligent people who can talk medicine. Yeah. Right, Jim? Right around. Right. That's it. So for all the keratoconus patients out there, do not give up hope. And for all the surgeons out there, don't let them down. Find Dr. Galani. Don't give up hope. <laughs> so where else? Do we have so much fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure. Uh, good you guys got to meet each other too from far away, but do well. Uh, you've been an excellent six months. Zoom, fantastic.